Hi and welcome, I'm Tommy Host and this is a Dropcast Film Talk. Today this is our first English movie review, so um, I hope you bear with me. I try to do this from time to time to support the other uh, subscribers and followers that come for the Movie Poster Podcast, so they have also something movie related that they can watch in terms of reviews. Um, the poster in the background of this movie we're going to talk today is by Neto Ribeiro, who did a very cool job on capturing a one essential part of this movie, and the movie I'm talking about is Becky. And uh, Becky is such a great movie in terms of genre film, and I really enjoyed this movie, and I can definitely say this concept is very crazy because if you haven't seen the trailer yet, can um, be, we posted it back on our news on our German news um, podcast, and uh, this one is a very gory but pleasant movie in terms not of a pleasant feeling, but in terms of being a good movie. Kevin James is uh, in the lead role here, and uh, basically everybody knows Kevin James is King of Queens, and he portrays somebody different here, some some character he never played before, and this is a neo-Nazi who's heavily tattooed all over his body, and it seems that um, that is t totally out of character for Kevin James, but let me tell you this, right off the bat, he did a very great job portraying this character, and um, he has maybe some 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 things that are not believable in, in terms of his performance, but in, in a whole, you can say he he did a very good job on uh, on doing this, and um, you could definitely believe his um, character to a certain point. And we also have Lou Wilson, who uh, starred in Annabelle Creation before, and she is basically the Rambo kid version, the, oh, the Rambo version of uh, Home Alone of uh, Kevin McAllister. Uh, very uh, good choice on this in this part, and um, I really like the ideas they come up with in this kind of revenge type situation. We also have Joe McHale in there as the father of Becky Jeff and uh, his new girlfriend Amanda Bruegel. Who he wants to remarry and he wants to break it to um, Ludo Wilson's character Becky. So she gets on board with the whole situation because he's widowed and um, yeah, she, uh, Becky obviously is not ready in terms of uh, being on board with this new marriage situation. So she kind of runs away from this uh, um, home in the or this house in the countryside and uh, is like for herself for a while and. We get a knock on the door, and who is it? Yes, it is Dominic, who is portrayed by Kevin James, the neo-Nazi character, and he talks already in the beginning about um, like race, like he makes race an issue. He talks about dogs and breeding and being pure and so on, because um, the character of Amanda Bugle is a POC character, and um, that uh, is kind of the, the foundation for this thing to happen. He also, Kevin James character also looks for a mysterious key, which is one of the critique points for this movie that um, he l looks for them, but for, looks for this kind of MacGuffin and is never really explained why he wants it or um, what's so special about it uh, and what are the consequences of like, or in terms of finding it. So it's really interesting. Uh, that they picked this kind of this kind of or made made this choice in terms of movie making that it's just a MacGuffin and uh, you will never really find out what happened. Um, yeah, and then the story uh, gets becomes faster and faster, and it happens that Jeff, the character played by Joe McHale, uh, is going to die. I'm not going to tell you how, but it's going. He's going to die. Um, and Becky is in full revenge mode and wants to take out everybody so the family can be saved, which is a really interesting um, concept in in in, uh, in this when you when you compare it to Home Alone. Uh, and uh, the directors Jonathan Millet and Carrie Murnion um, made a very a very gory Home Alone version. I really enjoyed it as a genre film, as I said, and um, the, this whole thing uh, reminded me of um, like a grown-up Home Alone and uh, or like an adult Home, home Alone, which is a which, which I said is a cool concept, and uh, yeah, this makes for a good film, I'd say. 
Um, also, the Kevin James character, um, his 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 performance reminded me a lot of Vince Vaughn's performance in Brawl and Cell Black Ninety Nine, um, which, as I said, is a believable um, idea, and I think like other comedians would also make like like if you make a series of movies like that where you turn like the usual role you're used to uh, like seeing those characters those comedy characters for it especially and have them turn like really dark i think that's that's a really interesting um idea so maybe the directors jonathan milkett and carrie murnian might want to follow up on that <clears throat> One other critique point I have is with the Apex character, which is played by Robert Maylett, who was a former pro wrestler, and he is like in the middle between the good guys and the bad guys, like in a gray area. And um, his character has uh, it has a nice um, it's a nice idea for the movie, but I think. Um, should have played this down a little bit the movie and uh that the character is maybe a little bit or this this idea is maybe too complex for the movie but all in all i i think it's uh it's still a good choice on what the directors made uh, the directs made here and uh one other thing is that uh i have to mention here it's kind of spoilery territory but uh if you can't stomach animal abuse or um in, in this kind of terms don't watch it because it's it's going to be really tough to watch this whole thing yeah um on another note the score is really great as you can see in the background i have uh, the the i think it's the official key art by stuart holroyd um i'm not sure about it but i think it was the official key art for this movie and um he created a perfect like this electronic uh, setting which is resembled by the score by nima fakrara i hope i pronounced that right um and that is that's a really cool part and on and uh, for this movie i really enjoyed the score for it and how it is set against what's happening also the special effects makeup i have to say is really great um speaking of gore carly morris did this and uh, there's one scene which got me holy crap this is this was unbelievably crazy what they did there and i i definitely will remember that scene for quite some time and also the different kill scenes and what happens by all the writers rucka sky lane sky and nick morris they did a just just a perfect job for this movie i think it fits in there perfectly and um i have to say Overall, I think this is a perfect genre film and uh, has a has a very good quality to it. And I think the like in the last couple of months, like the video on demand stuff has been not the very best. So um, I was really excited about Becky and it turned out to be a very good film. So I give this film eight of ten points. So I hope you uh, can see it. It's a video on demand, as I said, so check it out. Um, I'm interested interested in your opinion and let me let me know what you think in the comments. All right guys, take care.